hell? Oh, oh my god. Hey guys and welcome to an exciting video because yes, I have fallen down the spider rabbit hole and I'm getting another spider. I knew this was going to be the case. I knew. I get Betty, that won't be enough. I'll end up with another one. So I am waiting for him to arrive. He should be a male. Um, I always thought that the female jumping spiders were the cutest but lately, if you know, we have the bearded shrimp page and a lot of you guys who have bought jumping spider stuff from us, have male jumping spiders and been sharing photos and they're adorable and I was like oh Betty needs a little boyfriend so he is arriving today but first I'm going to set up his enclosure. I was going to do this last night but I ended up sorting out the ants who are now actually fully into their new enclosure. Anyone following the ants uh, may want to know. Yeah they are doing well. Now I did go ahead and already add in some substrate. It got messy. Uh, it doesn't need a lot of substrate in here. And to be honest, the species doesn't burrow or anything. So substrate isn't always like a necessity, but I personally think it looks a little nicer. If you didn't know, this enclosure is from Spooder Nest. So this one was gifted to me along with Betty and her large enclosure. This time round, I purchased a spider myself and I've also purchased a larger enclosure for him to grow into. But this is a smaller version that he'll start off in. And first we're gonna add in some cork. Now, if you've never set up a jumping spider enclosure, it's really simple. <laughs> so add a bit of cork in here. Now, as I mentioned, we have the bearded shrimp Etsy page, which is mainly a lot of like jumping spider things we make. And this is a lime green, kind of translucent Death Star. So if you're a fan of Star Wars, you might like this. And I thought this would be perfect for him. I love that it's kind of translucent so if he's hiding in here we might be able to get a sneak peek so I'm just gonna pop that on the back I think that will do one thing I like to use is a feeding platform once again um, all the 3d printed stuff in this you'll see that we made it but this is a feeding platform and I just find it quite easy especially if they're not eating stuff that flies around maybe a fruitless um a fruitless a flightless fruit fly um, a mini mealworm, a type of pupa, whatever it may be. So I find these very helpful. Then we have a name sign. So I have decided to call him Bertie. So we have Betty and Bertie. And I'm just going to put his little name sign down here somewhere. The substrate isn't very deep in here, so we'll just sort of rest there. And obviously it's spooky season, so he needs a little ghost. So I'll pop that in here too. I would ideally like some sort of plant in here. And what I found is Betty really likes an air plant. Obviously air plants, you could sort of take it out, dunk in water, let it dry out, put it back in or whatever. But um, for now, this is his enclosure, keeping it pretty simple. All you have to do now is wait for him to arrive. And I've been up since 8 a.m. waiting for this parcel. <laughs> Finally, he is here. Let me just move this so I don't knock it over. Do you know, I chose to film during the day, like to set up his tank during the day so we had natural light. And it was like the darkest day here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Ooh, we have a box inside of a box. When I took the parcel off the postman, you could just tell he was like, I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. Right, so I'm gonna peel this stuff off. This is obviously to protect the acrylic. So let's do that now. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that because I don't need that right now. And I actually wanna preserve this to keep it nice until I do need it. Because as I said, this will be his enclosure when he's a bit bigger, like Betty. So that's why I got another one. Right. He should be in here somewhere. I actually don't know how big he is. I did ask and she said that, I think she said he's gonna be a similar size to Betty, which she was when she came, but apparently he did eat a blue bottle when he was leaving. So he might be a bit bigger than what Betty was. I know recently she's been doing a lot of shows, so there's been a very limited stock of spiders on her website. I'll link it below, but I was very lucky to be able to buy this little chap. I will eventually get him out. 
Ooh! Literally, the ooh was just the shape of the cup. It's not just. I haven't even seen them yet. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. This is a very tense moment because I don't want to squish anything. Like, he could be amongst a crease of this paper. Oh, wait a minute, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my God. Why, why would she pack him as part of the paper? Of course she wouldn't. He's in a, he's in a little tub. <laughs> okay, so he's somewhere in here. So maybe actually, maybe he's quite small. So she sort of sent this, so this could be his gradual, like move from this to this and then into his new enclosure. That would make sense. By the way, if you see my hands are all crispy crusty, it's cause I've been gluing stuff. A lot of your bearded shrimp orders need gluing and uh, it's Gorilla Glue and it takes for ages to get off. So, oh, there's spider poo in here. Hello, oh, oh my God. Okay. If you know Betty has a pumpkin butt, a little pumpkin butt, he has like the invert of it. Like it is a pumpkin butt, but it's a little white face. Oh my God, okay. Look, do you see it? And there's some spider poop and an X fly. That's quite a beefy fly. Oh, oh he's got like turquoise fangs. Like obviously, like he's a male if you didn't know Males are darker and they have like turquoise fangs, whereas girls are generally brown um, and orange, like in Betty's case, with pinky purple fangs. Um, but do you know what? At this size, I'm quite comfortable putting him in the enclosure I've set up because he isn't too small. And, um, sorry, I'm totally distracted by him. Let's just watch some cute footage of him. So as you can see, he's looking kind of, oh, oh, see, he, oh, did you see that? Okay, if you aren't familiar with jumping spiders, maybe you're thinking of keeping worm, and you were like me and you're a bit like, oh, are they gonna be jumping all the time? Are they gonna be hard to handle? I will say they are definitely delicate, like for sure, like one slip and they're squished. Um, but the good thing with jumping spiders is before they jump, they pretty much uh, put some webbing on where they've left off and if they miss they will um still be hanging from your hand oh he's in his feeding platform i wonder if it's gonna be similar to betty like when betty first moved in because she was so much smaller she did make a little home in the feeding platform because it's so much bigger than her but he is a bit bigger so he might hide on the cork or in his death star but uh we'll see in a little bit once he's settled in for size comparison purposes, I'm going to get out Betty. She's on her pumpkin at the moment. <laughs> so she actually recently molted again and um, she has got so beefy. Let me get a good shot of her, one sec. Don't do it. Do oh, Betty, come here. Hold it. Oh my God, she's in the lens. What you can see right now, the little blur, is Betty. Because there's a slight dip in the lens, she is pushing her body against it. So this is the current setup for the two of them. They're under their LED. It doesn't look too bright in this footage, but it is bright. And these are my dinoflagellates. If you've seen my glow-in-the-dark plankton video, that's them, they're still going strong. I have a question though. If you have a male and a female next to each other, once he reaches maturity, is he gonna start displaying at her? Like, am I gonna have to put something between them so they don't see each other? Or will they be okay like this? Obviously, I'm still quite new to the jumping spider world, so you can let me know in the comments below. But I'm gonna leave him to settle in, give him a little spritz in the moment, um, and then we'll come back later to see how he's doing. It's a few hours later, and he has spent most of the time on the top of the enclosure. Betty's actually moved down here. She's a little shy, she's like, oh, hey. Um, but that's actually why I wanted to put an air plant like this in his tank, because even though this air plant is pretty much dead, 
but he seems to really love it. But yeah, I, there's not too much to update you on just right now. His food arrived, so I did order some fruit flies, um, though I think he would still go for them. I watched him trying to chase a fly that was on the outside of his tank, so he'd probably definitely eat a few of those. But um, I am very happy with him. I will leave links below to Spruden Nest and also my Etsy shop. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, boop that like button. But thank you for watching and goodbye.